Yeah, obviously uh, our last road game was a tough loss. Um, this week we just kind of got back settled, um, focused on our core values, and just got back to work. Um, I, I feel like it was a tough one for us just because we pulled away from our core values a little, values a little bit uh, on the road, but I feel like we got it back uh, this week and tonight. So. Mm -hmm. Were you guys at all um, curious how you handled it? I mean, it, it's, there's been a lot of things. You, know, you guys are off to an unexpected start, and then you have that kind of performance. Was it something you had to really shake quickly out of your brain? I mean, yeah, you can't linger too much on losses like that. Um, like I said, you play, you play Thursday, Saturday. Like even with today, we had a great win. You just got to move on quickly and get ready for Saturday. Um, and I think we do a great job of that. Not thinking about what we did wrong in the last game too much. Just try to play our game and we'll be fine. Guys, do you feel the energy in the arena <coughs> growing a little bit as the excitement around this team grows? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the crowd was a great turnout, especially the students. Um, when we have an ap atmosphere like this, it's easy to play well as a team. I mean, I feel like we, we play like that, uh, share the ball, have 23 assists in a game like that. It, it's just because we're flowing well as a team. Um, we just got back to playing how we how we were supposed to. So I feel like when we play like that, we're pretty hard to beat. Yeah, I think it just speaks to the kind of players we have on this team too, you know. Everybody's so unselfish and wants to see each other shine and um, it's easy to play like that. Luke, you started high, stayed high. Um, Thornton seemed to be hitting the ball a lot. Um, what, talk about what he was doing with the assist and the value he created. Yeah, I mean, Thornton and I have a pretty good connection, it feels like. Uh, every time I cut, he sees it even though he's not looking most of the time. But, um, yeah. Having a guy facilitate like that is huge for us, and he has great court vision. And he was getting everybody involved, especially my man Andy, which I was really proud of Andy and how he started. Especially, feels like he's been, you know, struggling a little bit. And I could see it, but hit tonight he had a fast start, and it was really good to see for him. So. Andy, how important to you guys is you and Nathan's ability to play on the perimeter, to space the floor? How much does that open things up for other shooters? I mean, a lot. Like a lot of teams focus on me and Nate, um, so we kind of have to work in like a tandem. Uh, when he's up high, I'm down low, stuff like that. Um, and like I said, if, if one of us catches in the post, it just everybody's eyes are on us, and it just opens up everything for our guards too. And it helps that we have uh, great shooters and Luke going four for five from three. So, Luke, you're shooting. You may have been asked this before. You're shooting 11 percentage points better from three this year than you were from the free throw last year. <coughs> what, what, what goes into how much you figured out the jump shot this year? Uh, I mean, just getting a lot of reps in practice, um, preparing for the games mentally, um, being locked in, and having coaches and teammates that believe in me this year has been huge for me. Um, I obviously have confidence to shoot the ball a lot better, and my team and my coaches also do, so it's just easy for me to play out there, and I'm having a lot of fun doing it. So. Luke, another tough defensive assignment for Lewis. Um, he had 22, but it was a lot of that was late. Let's talk about defending him. I, mean, I know you've got some help. Yeah, I mean, he's coming off a decent amount of ball screens, stagger screens. Um, it wasn't too too bad getting through them, but my, my big guys and the other guys who were setting them were always there to help me, and everyone was in the gaps too. So if he was coming off a stagger, I noticed it a, oh, actually a bunch of times with Andy. I was chasing him, and Andy was jumping in that gap just so that Lewis could see a crowd, and it was, it was a great defensive effort from everybody.